Hi Nicola, here's the video as promised. Um, so overall, like I said, the bodywork is in absolutely beautiful condition. In fact, there's there's barely anything that I've managed to to spot that um, that I don't think you'd be you'd be happy with. Um, so the main ones are are just um, things like alloy wheels, uh, just a couple of uh, small chip marks on the corners. They've certainly not been abused or anything like that. They um, it's just just standard um, kind of uh, light curb damage, um, but most of them are are all in very very good condition. Uh, so again, this passenger side rear wheel it really is just just sort of external curbing uh, you've got brand new Goodyear tyres on the back there and actually still got all the spikes and everything like that on them they're all in really nice condition uh, this wheel is very very good again just a small chip on, on there and that's pretty much the worst of that one um, and the front driver's one um, I think they've actually been touched in with silver paint just on the outskirts. Um, but again, you really kind of have to go quite quite close in to uh, to see those. Um, but they are the sort of the worst part of the car, if I was to say that. Um, in terms of the rest, it's all very good. Obviously, because of the low mileage, um, there are really there's barely any stone chips to mention. Um, just a couple of very 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 slight ones. So it's a bit of dust that's just come down. Um, but they've been touched in, and uh, and again, it's. Uh, Certainly nothing excessive at all. Um, all the way down the side, no dents or marks or anything like that. All really lovely condition. Mirror housing and everything like that, all, all perfect, completely free of any scratches. And same on this side as well. Um, windscreen's completely free of any um, chip marks or anything like that. So again, all very good. And if we just come down the driver's side, Again, you'll see that there's no dents or marks or anything like that all the way down. All very, very nice. Inside, so um, I mentioned that the car's got um, keyless entry, just to show you. Um, so you've got, uh, basically the car's now locked, but with the key in your pocket or in your bag or anything like that, all you have to do is just walk up and put your hand on the door handle and the car will, will unlock. Um, so you don't need to actually physically use the key and then to lock it you'll see these little ridges on the top of the um, handle there you just press your finger on that and that locks it up there as well so really nice to, uh, and easy to use so you just keep that in your pocket we've got two remote keys two keyless keys um, for that there uh, the driver's door all in really nice condition no scuff marks or anything like that I've got the button for the power folding door mirrors um, as well as all your electric windows and all that kind of stuff. Got automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers, uh, multifunction steering wheel, so all of your audio controls and everything. And you'll see you've got the lovely chunky M Sport steering wheel here with all the leather stitching. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and again, all in really nice condition. Uh, it hasn't gone all shiny and, and worn or anything like that. Uh, driver's bolster, very much the same thing. Um, not really anywhere at all to mention, even on the outside there. Uh, controls for the electric memory seats again like I mentioned a very very ra uh, rare and uh, expensive option so one that's really nice to have um, and then if we come in all of the dashboard area and the leather is all really lovely and um, the previous owners actually had two young children um, and for the most people that bring their cars in past exchange um, that don't necessarily always look after the leather in the back but they actually had towels on the back seats um with the with the child seats in front of those as well to stop the leather from snagging so they've really looked after it um so again because it's got the keyless entry you normally you would put the key into this slot here but because it's keyless um you don't need to so you just press the start stop button up there and that kicks in um so that's just a service reminder as i said that's just due to be done um this month the mileage hasn't even hit 25 yet so it's just just under 25,000 miles um, we will do the uh, the service items that I'll show you in a second. Come up to here on the computer. So we have brake fluid service and engine oil service both due now. So we'll we'll obviously get those done. Um, and the MOT was done in December, so that's a nice long amount of time on there. Uh, vehicle checks not due until 2023 or 28,000 miles time. 
um, and the rear brake pads have 15,000 miles worth of wear left on them and 29,000 miles worth of wear left on the uh, front brake pads. Um, through to some of the sort of controls for your media system, you've got a, a DVD player, so this actually, this screen here will actually be able to show you DVDs um, on the screen. Um, you can then also connect your external devices by USB, um, by the clip-in cradle for your phone, uh, or by Bluetooth, which is by far the most popular. Uh, so you can stream music as well as um, voice calls and all that kind of stuff on your phone. Um, and then auxiliary socket for the front as well. Um, it, it just uh, hard wires down to here. You've got, got the um, USB and the auxiliary as well as a 12 volt socket there as well. Um, radio, we've got digital radio. Uh, and then obviously we also have the widescreen satellite navigation which covers you for the whole of Western Europe and contains traffic reports and bits and pieces like that. Um, all controlled by the iDrive wheel down here. Um, parking sensors front and rear and then obviously we also have the camera as well so it's a high definition camera on there which again is a, a very rare option on these and then we also have things like hill descent control for for off-roading or driving on ice um, automatic start stop and then different driving modes for things like um, more economical driving and things like that uh, got beautiful piano black fascia in uh, around here no, no scratches or marks on, on any of that um, and then dual zone climate control so separate temperatures for driver and passenger there in the middle um, all the way across here you can see it's all in such lovely condition lovely soft leather still no wear no scratches or nail marks or anything like that uh, cup holder and then you've even still got the original wrapping on the um, uh, on the phone cradle area there and then if you lift this up you've also got a further cup holder uh, another 12 volt socket and also some storage down there as well I've also got these sports seats here that I've mentioned um, again, all in lovely condition. Let's kill the engine a sec. And through to the back, we will just see. Again, all in really nice condition. All of the leather is perfect. Really, really nice. No marks to the roof. It really shines beautifully in here under the lights, actually. It's lovely paintwork and the boot area is all lovely and clean in here as well. Another 12 volt socket, first aid kit, and then if we lift the boot floor up, you've got your locking wheel nut um, and sort of tool bits and pieces in there. Obviously being a BMW, they're run flat tires on here. Uh, battery through in the boot with some underfloor storage, but everything extremely neat and tidy and well looked after. And we just come across the back. All very, very nice. There's a tiny little bit of paint just missing. Um, I think it's where somebody has popped this open. Um, it's the towing eye cover in there, and I think it looks like they probably used a screwdriver or something and just chipped the top of the paint. But I do have some Le Mans Blue paint, so I'll, I'll touch that in um, just to, uh, to take the eye off that. Um, and that's pretty much it. A couple of very, very light loading scratches just on the top, just obviously where someone's loaded something into the boot. Um, but they're not deep scratches by any means um, and that really is it actually yeah all lovely very very nice indeed and no uh, no damage to the rear bumper at all as we can see here so there you go I hope you've um, found that useful I think I've pretty much covered everything off um, and we will speak later on um, in fact I'll just show you things like the around to the front that's your um, Zenon headlights at the front as well, so you get the angel eyes on, on this one because um, that's the, uh, the upgraded Zenon lights as well, so you, you get the, the uh, angel eye design um, just with these sort of LED lights in the middle. Um, and then, there you go. And then obviously the, uh, the main, main Zenon lights as well, and I'll just show you under the bonnet. All nice and tidy under here. All the plastics like that in good condition. There you go. Wonderful. I hope that's um, covered everything off. If 
you require any um, close-ups on anything at all, then um, just let me know and I can, uh, I can redo those for you. Uh, but hopefully this has given you a good overall impression of the car. Speak later. Take care.